Boom. Here we have a question before us here. A very simple one and exponential equation. How do we solve this? The question reads 2 to the power of a plus 4 to the power of b plus a to the power of c equal to 148. What is the value of a, b, c that we satisfy this equation when plugged in? So if you're new here, this is all I must TV. Do not forget to subscribe if you've not done so, because subscribing will enable the YouTube algorithm to notify you whenever we release an amazing video like this very one. So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. So the first thing we do here is to take our solution first thing first. Okay, look at these figures we have here. This is in base 2, this is 4, and this can also be expressed in base 2. This is 8, and it can also be expressed in base 2 also. So let's go ahead and express all the terms we have on the left-hand side in base 2. So we're going to come up with 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of b plus uh, 2 to the power of 3 or to the power of c equal to 148. Easy. According to the property of um, indices, we can multiply the exponent together, this power by this power. So we're going to come up with 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of 2b plus 2 to the power of 3c. This is equal to 148. Easy. So what do we do here? Look at this first term here, which is 2 to the power of a. I want to factor that out from the system. So this will now give us 2 to the power of a bracket. If I use this to divide this, I'm going to come up with 1 here, then plus. If I use this to divide this, this will give me 2 to the power of 2b all over 2 to the power of a, then plus our 2 to the power of 3c all over 2 to the power of a, everything in bracket. This is equal to 148. This has not changed anything though. Then what happened here? We just have to rewrite this. In other words, let's eliminate this division sign because they are having the same base number. So we can take this A away from this. Then we can equally subtract this from this. So this will now give us 2 to the power of A, bracket our 1, then plus your 2 to the power of 2B minus A, then plus our 2 to the power of 3C minus A, close bracket. This is equal to 148. Good, 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 good. So what do we do? We look at this critically. Take a look at this number here. We are having 2 to the power of A. This is an even number. Why? Because 2 to the power of any number will give us even. All right? Now, if we look at what we have inside this bracket, this is even, this is even. But immediately, you add one to an even number, that takes it to an odd number. Right? Then we look at this other side. Can we express this in uh, two factors that one will be even and the other will odd? Yes. We can break this down. Look at this. We have our 148, 2 year, we give us 7 for 2 year. This will give us 3, 7. So this can be expressed as your 4 times 37. And 4 is even. Why 37 is what? Odd. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we're going to have here 2 to the power of A odd into our 1 plus our 2 to the power of 2B minus A plus our 2 to the power of 3c minus a close bracket this is equal to our 4 times 37 okay so yeah this will give us even number while the whole of this will give us other expression this will give us even number this is e please while this will give us odd so we cannot equate the odd to odd, the even to even, right? So let's go ahead and do that on this side of the board. Okay, so let's continue here. So we're going to equate 2 to the power of a. This will now be equal to our 4, right? So we can rewrite 4. 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2, right? So this is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So we now have 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 2. The bases are the same, so they leave the system, so we will now end up having a is equal to 2. Okay, so we've got on the first variable here. So we now have our a to be equal to what, 2. So let's go ahead and equate odd to odd. 
So we write our expression here, one, okay, this is small, please, plus our two to the power of two B minus A plus, um, this is plus, please, let me write it where, our two to the power of three C minus A, right, everything equal to 37. So what do we do here? Send this to this side of the equation, so we now have two to the power of two B minus our A plus two to the power of three C minus A, this is equals to 37 minus one. So 37 minus one will give us what? That is 36. So we now have here two to the power of two um, B minus A plus two to the power of three C minus A equal to 36. All right, so at this point, what we do, we can take this expression back to this format again. So let's write that. This will now give us two to the power of two B all over two to the power of A there plus two to the power of three C all over two A to the power of, sorry, two to the power of A. This is equal to 36. Ha, how we learn something? So what we do here is to factor two to the power of A out from this expression. So this will now give us one, yeah, all over two to the power of A, close brackets. If we bring this from this, we are left with two to the power of two B there, plus two to the power of three C, close bracket, equal to 36. Again, we know the value of our, our A already, which is two. So we can put in two here, right? So let's continue on this side of the board and see what that gives us. Okay, so from here, we're gonna have this to be one, all over four, right? Bracket, our two to the power of two B, the plus two to the power of three C, close bracket equal to 36. We can use this to multiply this, right? So we are left with two to the power of two B plus two to the power of three C. This is equal to 36 times four. Easy. So again, we look at this. What we did the other time, we want to factor this from the system. So this one I'll give us here, two to the power of two B, right? Bracket. If we use this to divide this, we're left with one there plus, if we use this to divide this, it's going to give us two to the power of three C. Now let's go straight. So this will now be minus two B, right? Close bracket. This is equal to 36 times four. So from here, you discover that this is two to the power of two B, and this is automatically what? Even, and this is two to the power of this, this is also even, but if we add one, that will give us odd. Here we have odd. This is, sorry, here we have even, this we have even. So what happened? We have to check if we can get an odd number from this. So what we do, let's divide this. So let's take it here, we have 36, so two here will give us one, eight, two, two, 18 will give us nine. So we can express this as four times nine. So nine is odd, right? So let's go ahead and express this. So we have two to the power of two B bracket, your one plus two to the power of three C minus two B close bracket. This is equal to your four times four times nine. Okay. So this will give us 16, and 16 is an even number. So we have earlier. So automatically we have this to be even number, and the whole of this to be odd number, the, the whole of this to be even, the while this we have odd. So let's go and equate even to even, the odd to odd. Okay, so we can take this as our two to the power of two B. This is equal to, yeah, we have 16. And 16 can be written as two to the power of four. So we have two to the power of four, okay? Then this now implies, this, this leave the system, so we're having two B is equal to four. If we divide by um, uh, two, so let's divide this side by two, divide this side by two, this, this leaves. So here we have one, here we have two. So our B is equal to, so we have therefore B is equal to two, okay? So we've gotten the second variable, which is B. We've gotten our B to what? To our um, two there now. So let's go ahead and solve for this other side by equating odd to odd here. 
So let's continue on this side. So copying our odd, we're going to have this to be our 1 plus 2 to the power of 3c minus 2b. This is equal to our 9. Send this to this side. So this will give us 2 to the power of 3c minus 2b. This is equal to 9. Then minus 1. Okay. So again, we have this minus 2b is equal to 8. We can express it as 2 to the power of 3. So this is 2 to the power of 3. Again, this, this leaves the system. So we're left with 3c minus 2b. This is equal to what? 3. We've calculated for b already, which is what? 2. All right, so from here, it all means we have 3c minus 2 into 2 equal to 3. Simple. So this will give us for, we now have 3c equal to our 3, 4, right? So this comes to this side, gives us plus. So we have here plus 4. So we have 3c is equal to 7. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Cancel, cancel. C is equal to what? 7 all over 3. Look at the value of our C. Okay. So we've gotten our A. We said our A is equal to 2 and our B is equal to uh, 2 also. Right? So with this root, if we plug this into our original equation, which is this, then they will satisfy the original equation. So, but if you are not clear or if you are not sure, then let's do a simple shake. All right, so let's take shake on this side. So we have your shake. The question is two to the power of A plus four to the power of B plus A to the power of C equals to 148, right? So we have two, our A is two to the power of two plus four to the power of B is two then plus our um, C is 7 all over, so we have here 8 to the power of 7 all over 3 equals to 148. Okay, so 2 to the power of 2 will give us here 4 plus, here we go to give us 16, then plus, here we can express this as the cube root of 8 all raised to the power of 7. This is equals to 148. Right? So if we add this, this will give us 20 already. The plus, the cube root of 8 will give us 2. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 7, which is equal to 148. So we have 20 plus 2 to the power of 7 will give us 128. So we're going to have this to be 128 equals to 148. If we add this to this, this will now give us 148 equals to 148. So this shows that the answer, the root, A equal to 2, B equal to 2, C equal to 7 all over 3, satisfy the original equation. All right. So this brings us to the end of this math challenge, this nice exponential equation. If you love something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Because that is the only way you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. Remember, I'm your friend, Jake's animal. I love you. All of us at All I Must TV loves you dearly until I come your way again. Bye. Keep winning.